This is Nokia Lumia 920 Take Apart Repair Guide, brought to you by Repairs Universe. To begin this, this repair, the first thing we're going to do is power off the device completely. From there, we're going to remove the SIM card tray using a paper clip or a SIM card removal tool. Gently press in the small hole and eject the SIM card tray. From there, we have two Torx T5 screws that need to be removed from the bottom of the device. These two screws now removed, we're going to use a safe open pry tool. Starting near the bottom of the device, gently lift back the back cover. The cover itself is pretty malleable, so just apply a little bit of a pressure. Once you get a grip, you can then begin separating the sides and releasing the back cover from the full device. You want to be careful here as there is one flex cable which is attached from the back cover to the motherboard, which you'll see right here. We're just going to gently place the back cover right next to it so we can work on releasing this connection. There is a small metal plate covering both of these connections here on the motherboard. The best thing to do is use a safe open pry tool and gently pry up near the top as there are two tabs holding in place. As you can see when we release the plate, the pop connector became released at the same time. Normally this will stay in place and you'll just need to use a safe open pry tool to release it. We're now going to release this one pop connector that is located underneath the metal plate as well. Just use the safe open pry tool and gently lift the connection up. It's going to be adhered to the side. It's your power button and volume button flex cable. So gently use your safe open pry tool and release that adhesive, holding it to the frame. Once you get a decent grip, you can just kind of pull it all the way off the housing. I'm going to use a Torx T5 screwdriver to remove four T5 screws, three located on the right side of the housing, and the last one in the bottom left below the battery. Screws removed, we're now going to use a safe open pry tool and release this metal bracket holding the battery in place. Also be a plastic spacer located in the bottom left. Use your safe open pry tool. Gently lift this out. While we're down here, we're going to release this one pop connection here and gently bend the flex cable down and away from the housing. All right. Next, we're going to release this antenna cable located on the right side of the motherboard and the battery connection, which is a simple pop connector. Once that's been released. And then pry on the outside of the battery and remove the battery completely. Now, using a Torx T3 screwdriver, we're going to remove three T3 screws. Screws removed, we're just going to release this final pop connection located in the bottom left here. And we're then going to remove the mid frame with 
motherboard attached to it. To do this, we're going to use the Safe Open Pry tool and pry another seam right here. You're going to want to be careful here as there are multiple clips holding in place. The first two clips will be plastic clips located right here. There will be two more metal clips located in the bottom of the battery compartment. Once these clips have been released, you will then be able to slightly lift the motherboard and midframe up. Once the midframe and motherboard are loosened, you will be able to gently lift up and slide it to the right, being careful as the housing is overhanging on the left side of the motherboard. Once that is done, you can revert that connection back into the housing and remove the motherboard and midframe. From here, all you'll need to do is heat the back and the front of the screen assembly using a heat gun or a hair dryer. Be sure to use medium heat about 2 to 3 inches away from the device using constant movement around the outside edges. This will warm the adhesive holding the screen assembly in place. Once the adhesive is properly warmed, you will then be able to use the Safe Open Pry tool and separate the screen assembly away from the front housing. For more information on how to do this, please revert back to our written repair guide for the Lumia 920, which is located at repairsuniverse.com.